I'm gonna... I'm gonna say this is a... No prawn zone. We might want to find a better entrance point. I think there's a ramp. This is just messy. Out of my way, boyo! Holy shit. One second. Aim for some open ocean and. <laughs> I can beach this thing if I wanted to. <laughs> Holy shit, that would be a terrible idea. <laughs> oh no. Because, yeah, it's fast enough that it can actually get a decent amount of... Wait, I picked up something. It can, it can get a decent amount of height. Okay, let's save, though. Oh, I probably just picked up uh, a reclaimed water. That's, that's what it is. All right. Oh, well, this is a problem. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, uh... <laughs> huh. On one hand, I could potentially cheese this in a really interesting way. Water is not wet. Why are you dry? I... <laughs> I did a goof. It's okay. There's always a solution. Where there's a will, there's a way. Aha! Aha! Yeah, go as deep as you can while you can. I considered that, but I'm... I've done this twice now, so I'm pretty sure I could do this a third time if I wanted to. Uh, that said, don't want to right now just because the convenience of it, or the inconvenience of it. Hmm. How the hell? What the hell are you... I don't know. Whatever. I have a solution. Okay, I have another solution. We know the prawn can get on land. Let's just, let's just use the prawn. It's not going to gonna be able to get me all the way. But at least it can get me where I need to go. And keep me warm for a while. Use the sea truck. <laughs> yeah, but then I'd have to remake the whole damn thing. Like, I'm pretty sure there's, there's like, zero way that I'm going to be able to retrieve the sea truck the moment I get it on land. So this would have been a point of ingress. Looks like there's actually something here, too. Now, am I supposed to be able to do this? That's another question entirely. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Oterra, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so, yes. Okay, ruptured hydraulic fuel fluid. So I just have to make... Hydraulic fluid. Oh, that's easy.
I mean, obviously we're gonna have to find that stuff, but that's that stuff's pretty easy to get. Let's pop back in the prawn though. Can you jump the distance with the prawn? I'll check it in a bit. I want to investigate everything else first. What I really need is the grappling hook arm on the prawn, but we sadly have not found we haven't found the rest of that blueprint yet. Ow. Boy, I'm loaded on batteries. They really do spoil you in this game. Yeah, grapple arm on land. Please do some insane speed. I figured as much. Oh. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire robotics center. Yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna walk around in this for a while. So I'm pretty sure the Phi Robotic Center is where you started the game. In the previous, uh, like in the early access version. Okay, so we found the landing pad. Okay. Wasn't quite sure if I could do anything with that. Okay, we got something here. Who are you? Spy Pingling log number one. The spy Pinglings are creating so many new research opportunities. They're perfect for exploring tight spaces I can't squeeze into, little pockets hiding lots of resources. The Pinglings can't carry much, but as an added bonus, the local fauna seems seem to generally ignore them. My little robot friends are too cute to get destroyed. Pengjorg. George, I know. Got tank controls. Well, this is cute. If ultimately somewhat fruitless. Is the entire point of this just as kind of like a showcase on what these guys can do? Companionship level. Infiltration value. Okay, that's adorable. Why are we just standing there? Yeah. Yeah. It actually did make a weird noise. That scared me. Pressing Q is too mean. Absolutely. Why would anybody ever do that? Oh, that's a something. Here's the robotic center. No, this isn't quite what I was expecting. This place has seen sufficiently better days. Uh, oh, let's hope. 
hope I don't Five freeze robotics. to death in here. This is where Sam worked. Snow Fox hover pad. Oh. I think the snow fox is, yeah, the little hovercraft. New blueprint synthesized. That I get access to. Large rune fragment. A. Yeah, snow fox is a janky Destiny 2 sparrow. Hell yeah, it is, but that doesn't matter to me. Let's snag a bunch of magnetite. Except for that bit. That bit's out of reach. That is a big room. What I really want is also this staircase. Okay, got a couple of things. Uh, this Sam here. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Is there a crouch button? Nope. Not to my knowledge, anyway. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Okay. Combined with a frozen water sauce, water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm going to tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. <laughs> We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. She's on a cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. Sitting here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not gonna get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. Manuel is not going to be happy. Not one bit. Okay, so what's the other one? Oh, here it is. Er, no. Yeah, there was another log. Is it this one? No. Hey, Tiger. Miss you a lot and can't wait for both our assignments to be over with. Delta R6 has been an amazing opportunity. I never tire of watching the sunrise and sunset over the black sands of the Charizian Desert. Charizane Desert. It's beautiful. The only way it could be better is if you were here. Okay. But no, there was... There was a log... From Fred. Ah, here it is. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. 
You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. That was cute. I hope Fred is not dead. I would be sad. Say this bed. Why do I get to scan all of these different people's beds? Over bunnies, uh, kill a bunnies versus devils. I'm just gonna. Why not? T and team practicing mindfulness as a leader. Your team is a sponge, just waiting to soak up the energy you bring into the room. Think of yourself as a teapot leader. You have the power to saturate your team with soothing warmth and healing. You also have the power to burn them. The key to infusing those who follow you with calm is to manage the calm within yourself first. That is the power of mindfulness and leadership which we'll discuss further in the next chapter. But first, let's explore another element of leadership that goes often goes overlooked. The steeping time. Once you've poured your healing magic over your team, you must wait for the oils and essences from the tea leaves to adapt to their new environment and become fragment, or fragrant and fully realized. There's power in a healing leader, but a patient healing leader is unstoppable. Cold suit. Seems kind of useful. Is there anything else in here? It looks kind of thin. She said there was there was something that wasn't right, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh, here we kind of go? No. Okay, there's another... Oh, right. I haven't gone upstairs yet. There's also another structure over there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to it yet. Or ever? But no. We'll keep looking around. Oh. Well, yeah, that'd do it. I bet this is where we learn how to make a teleporter, maybe. Gosh, if we're lucky. Okay. Architect teleporter. Cool, but can I make it? Can I use it in my base? If I can, where is it? Oh, teleporters are stationary, so I can't make, like, a personal teleporter? Aww. I was really hoping I could. I'm surprised that Alan didn't have anything to say about this. Oh, my inventory is way full. Uh, let's see. Let's quick roll back to the prawn. Might as well clear up my inventory just by a smidge. I know it's... full of all sorts of goodies. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ow.
There we go. I guess this was redundant. Let's see. Iodine content useful for chemical applications. It might actually be something useful. But yeah, let's let's just clear out my inventory. Perfect. Hey, and thank you, Verisoc, for gifting a sub to Sir Madman. Thanks so much. Alright, so let's see. Got a couple of different places I could go. Here. A bench. Nope, can't go in there. Cylindrical flask. The distinct feelings a number of these items are just kind of random. Large flask. Flasks aplenty. Flasks are us, in fact. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> So, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern, with the frozen leviathan. I investigated and You I... investigated? When? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Kara mutation experiments. I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> can we play the game now? Fine. Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy Pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Uh, very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Let me guess, she lied. I wonder if the reason why the sister went missing and everybody went missing here is because they mutated. Is this... Are we gonna... Is this gonna be like an ex expanse situation where the entire crew here uh, is the progenitor aliens for the uh, aliens from natural selection? I get the kind of distinct feeling that's exactly the case. Okay. Now, I know a couple of people were talking about how I could sneak the penglings in to various holes on the map if I paid attention. Is that actually worth it for people that know? I haven't seen the recent seasons of The Expanse. Thanks for spoilers. I uh, That's straight up, like, first season Expanse. Like, that's that's the plot. Of, you see that in the, the beginning's, like, starting point of this series. Like, if, if that's spoilers for later Expanse, I don't know. Yeah, I could look it up. Yeah, I wouldn't mind knowing. Just purely from the perspective of not, uh, not bothering with it unless it's actually that helpful. I, mean, I haven't, I haven't seen the Expanse in season four? I think it was four.
It's one of those where it's like, I liked the show, but it wasn't enough to keep me around on Amazon Prime. Okay. Unproductive exit. Yeah, I like that theory. It's a bit out there. It's kind of wild space madness. I find awesome. I just... I know this is a prequel to Natural Selection. So... Clearly... Uh, clearly, it has to be the Link. And we know the the virus is specifically the, the mutation virus... Uh, in Natural Selection. I just hope that they use this to springboard into a... either like a Natural Selection 3 that has more of a PvE element or even a Survival Sandbox element. Um, yeah. Or just, you know, more Subnautica. I definitely would be kind of sad if they were just like, all right, and now that we've done the prequels, back to making natural selection. And now that you're all invested, you... Uh, where's the... Oh, it's over here. Uh, now that you're all invested, you have to play it. And it's like, I, I like natural selection. I didn't care for it that much. I don't think there's a whole lot of reason for me to go down into that crevasse. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. E. Let's see. So the bot is needed to access a couple of locations. Good to know. Oh. Sure is handy having the prawn around here. What was that? Nah, that's nothing. A lot of resource veins. Nothing I care for too much. I don't think I really want to go into that hole. If you scan the map in the lab, It'll show you the locations. Yeah. I'll go back and do it if it's convenient. Here's the question. Can I take the prawn in now? Looks like it. I just don't necessarily know what I'm looking for in this immediate area. Like, if there's actually something to be interested in, or if it was just more resources... Um, well, I have one really silly idea. Let's kind of wander around for a little bit. Let's see. Now, the question is, where am I? And is this a back entrance? It looks like it's more of a back entrance than... anything secret, but I'm going to double check it. Because we're here, and my prawn pretty much can just ATV this entire area. Alright, what is this? It's an ice stalagmite. Fair enough. Marbled anemone. 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 
Yeah, copper, silver, goodies for sure. All right, pop back in the prawn and keep looking around. I really wish I could actually scan just using the prawn by default. You know, if it had like a, a passive scanner that would just scan the Im immediate environment. Pick up snow. Like, can I like eat snow? Oh, it's a snowball. Of course it's a snowball. Okay, so where am I now? Well, I'm back here, wherever here is. Now, what do we got in this cave? Oh, that's the pingling spot. Okay, so it looks like fevered peppers cannot be regrown. Oh, but it gets me heat. Kind of useful, but not terribly necessary. Alright. Let's put this on. Yep, that is a pingling spot. There we go. Let's see. Not really interested in quartz. I guess I'll pick up the magnetite. Just because it's an order of magnitude rare. But that's about it. It's so cute. All right, what else we got in here? Signal lost. Okay. I think it doesn't like me being in this cave. Aha, glow fungus. And more resources. I wish it was a little bit more obvious which of these caves actually had something to... Well, I'm going to take it as the map isn't very useful here either. Okay. I came from that direction, yes? Maybe not, actually. No, this is this is where I came from. Okay, Farscape's an interesting take on sci-fi. I liked Farscape for a while. I found the characters to be a little insufferable after a certain period of time. Uh, they would not stop fighting, and that got to be a little exhausting after a while. But using Jim Henson to, you know, concept out your aliens for you and actually, you know, handle them, that was a stroke of genius, and I really liked that. Oh, there we go. There's the thing. Okay, this might be something. So does the scan map leave markers? No. Ow. My inventory is full. Okay, so here's a question. Because I was thinking... I could do the really silly thing. Let's do the really silly thing. We have this whole area here. Oh, shit. 
Look at that sucker. Bad. Bad dragon bear dog. All right, fine. All right. So here's the thing. What if I, what if I built a base out here? Okay, I don't I don't have any titanium on me, which I guess is a bit of an oversight. Let's see. But I'm gonna I'm gonna build a base with the scanning room. We have the resources on us. Maybe not directly on us. Uh, let's see. Yeah, can't make a large room. Kind of don't care. Oh, cool. It comes with a staircase. They intend they intended for me to be able to do this. I'm glad. Maybe it won't let me build it. I uh, attach it until this blueprint is done. That's probably exactly the case. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. There we go. Stupid prawn. This doesn't hurt too bad. Really? Let's see. Here, let's go back to this for a hot second. I'm just going to put away an amount of the lithium and some other things. Okay, so there's there's something wrong with this. Positioning-wise. And I'm not sure why. This seems a little bit more promising. Hypothermia imminent. Uh, fine. There we go. I do appreciate that, yes, there is in fact an oxygen meter above, uh, above the surface. This is kind of like a, hey, uh, you know, you thought we'd let you off easy. Nope. This should give me some space. To get maybe a couple of things down. Yeah, he eats the other oxygen. I mean, why not? If I put it here, I don't think it'll bonk. It. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay, so the biggest issue is we need gold. No, we have gold. We have the table coral. Yeah, we can actually get this whole thing together. I think the only immediate issue is potentially going to be power. Uh, power and an absolute lack of titanium. Hi, 
hyperthermia imminent. Uh, it's fine. It's also a very clean swap between... Holy shit. Okay. I thought... I thought we had to inclement weather earlier, but, uh, this takes the cake. Still need one more titanium. Bah. There we go. So, a pair. Apparently, the issue is it's not rotated correctly. I I guess. Yep. That was the problem. It just wasn't snapping on. It was in the right spot, but... but Whatever. No biggie. It's not picking up yellow snow. But... As long as I don't eat it, it's okay, yeah? Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. I'm gonna have to punch this thing just to get some peace, aren't I? Sup, nerd? Okay, he actually did some damage there. Respect to the nerd creature. Let's... Oh, we have a little bit more titanium. Let's see, I don't care too much about this stuff. No, this ain't water. We've got that whole area up there that I should probably look at. But I really want to get this kind of de facto base going. Because if I can use it to, to scan for da data modules and fragments, that'll come in handy. 